Some people have severe persistent asthma where in spite of doing all the aggressive medical interventions, uh, the symptoms are still not fully controlled and affect their activities of daily living and their quality of life uh, on a daily basis uh, to the point that they may not be able to adequately work or go to a college or school. In those cases, uh, there are now new options available, which are actually interventions uh, through bronchoscopy. And uh, one recently approved is called bronchial thermoplasty. My name is Faisal Khan. I'm one of a pulmonologist here at St. Francis, and my main uh, practice is treating lung disorders. Bronchial thermoplasty is a bronchoscopy procedure uh, in which uh, heat therapy is applied to the airways uh, in our lungs uh, to reduce the amount of smooth muscle in the walls of the airways. And in turn, that helps uh, reduce the uh, symptoms of asthma. So in asthma, uh, just to give a background, what happens is there's buildup of excessive smooth muscle in the uh, lining of the airways. And when someone is experiencing an asthma attack, what happens is that muscle contracts and constricts and makes the airway narrow. So the more the muscle, the more the severity of that airway getting narrow. Now, thermoplasty is a procedure where you apply heat to that muscle and reduce the amount of that muscle uh, so that the severity of that narrowing uh, lessens. Uh, this technique was tried in a clinical trial and uh, they compared a population who was severe asthma who were given this therapy versus uh, people with severe asthma who were given who were put through the bronchoscopy and a sham procedure, but the heat therapy was not applied. So it was a very well conducted trial. And in that trial, 79% of uh, patients with uh, severe asthma uh, did notice uh, improvement in their asthma related quality of life scores, meaning uh, they had less ER visits, less hospitalization, less number of asthma attacks, uh, less use of rescue inhalers, and so on and so forth. So thermoplasty, it's a, a three-phase procedure. Uh, it's not one procedure, it's done in three sessions. In each session, a different area of the lung is targeted. It's done like any bronchoscopy is done, where a person comes into an endoscopy uh, area, they're put under uh, moderate sedation, uh, and then we go in through a bronchoscope. As I said, in each session, uh, a separate area of the lung is targeted where a catheter is used to deliver that heat energy. Uh, the sessions are three weeks apart. The, after each session, they are watched for two to three hours uh, to make sure that they are not having any complications of the procedure, and uh, then they go home the same day. It's not meant to replace the asthma medications. It's a supplement to those medications and the thermoplasty is expected to work with those medications to do certain things. One, to reduce the uh, incidence or chances of having an asthma attack. Number two, reduce the frequency, uh, reduce the uh, severity of the symptoms. Number three, it may help reduce the amount of drugs needed to control the medication, but may not eliminate it completely. So it's not a replacement for the medications, but it is a supplement to them and helps them better control the asthma.